everyone, welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we will show you how to prepare this presentation board and all the necessary drawings using a SketchUp to Illustrator workflow. Let's start with the 3D model. As you can see, we grouped each floor separately and divided them beforehand. If you want to learn how we prepared this base model, you can check out our exploded diagram tutorial. The link is in the description box below. To get the floor plan, you'll need the section plane tool. Select the tool and place the plane on the floor you wish to export. You can move the plane vertically by pressing the up and down arrow keys. After that, go to Camera, Standard Views and choose Top. Don't forget to add this new view to your list of scenes. To change the section lines and fills, go to Window and Open Styles panel. From there you can adjust the line weight, section line and fill colors. We'll leave it as it is. Once you are done, go to File, Export, and select to D graphic. There, click Export and your PDF file will be ready. Now we'll export the elevation. We'll hide the exploded model and the section plane, since they won't be needed. Again we'll go to Camera, Standard Views, and choose Front. You can either choose Perspective or Parallel Projection for the elevation. We'll go with the Perspective. Then we'll export the elevation as PDF. One thing you can do to add dimension to your plans is to add shadows. Once you decided to the angle, to export the shadows only, go to View, Edge Style and turn off the edges. You can also match the section fill colors to the tone of the shadows from the Styles panel if you don't like the contrast. We would like our section lines to match as well. Now it is ready to export as PNG. That's all we're going to do in SketchUp. Now we'll move on to Illustrator and open the base PDF in a new file. We'll set the artboard size and center the drawing to the artboard. We'll place the unexploded model into another layer. We'll use a color palette with warm pastels for the drawings. To change the colors, we'll choose a white line, then go to Select, Same, Fill and Stroke. With the eyedropper tool, we'll change their color to a dark pink. We'll select the furniture likewise, color them soft gray and lower their stroke weight. This is why we made the lines in different colors in SketchUp earlier, to be able to easily choose and edit them separately. We'll repeat the same steps for the exploded model, but this time we'll make the building outlines dark gray. We've added a beige background color with the rectangle tool. Now we can color with live paint. Select all, go to object, live paint, make. To color every surface in a group, you'll need to click the group three times. To select a different color, in live paint mode, Press Alt key and choose the color. We'll color the walls light pink. To edit the live paint group, you'll need to expand it and then ungroup it twice. We've added surfaces everywhere, so don't forget to delete the surfaces in the windows. Since the transparency of the windows wouldn't show on the to d exports, we've deleted them priorly. We'll use this export with the windows to add them to our drawing. We've copy and pasted them onto our building then changed their colors and opacity. You can always skip this step, but we think it strengthens the 3D effect. Now we'll add flat vector vegetation blocks. This vegetation pack is full of detailed trees. We'll choose an outlined version. We've also added the link to these trees. You can check out the description box below. Let's quickly match their colors to the color palette. Now that's done, we can live paint the exploded one. Yeah. 
We can add a pattern to represent the green area. We'll copy the surface by dragging it while holding the Alt key, and choose a linear pattern from the swatches panel. We need to adjust its scale. Make sure only the transform patterns box is checked, then you can change the scale of your pattern. We'll lower its opacity to match the rest of the drawing. Now, we'll add dash lines to show the projections. Go to the strokes panel and check the dash line box. Here you can change the dash and gap properties. We'll add the elevation and floor plan drawings to the artboard as well. We've placed them into separate layers. We repeat the same coloring processes for elevation. We change the colors of the outlines with the select and same commands. We color the whole drawing with the live paint tool. We'll add the same trees. Again, we delete the surfaces added to the windows. And we'll use the same coloring methods for the floor plan as well. Now, We'll place the shadow PNG. We'll lower its opacity for a softer look. It's coming together. We can quickly create a close-up scene for the blank space at the top. For that, we exported another PDF from the model, but without the bathroom walls. This allows us to show the interior. We place the drawing, which we clean so that only the bathroom is visible, on the artboard. We'll circle it for emphasis and match its color palette. To bring some life into the presentation, we'll add people to the scene. We have a CAD package made for just such candid bathroom scenes. If you want to add characters to your drawings who are taking shower, getting dressed or using the toilet, the link is in the description box below. We'll match the human figures to color palette as well. Adding drawing titles or info text would tie everything together. We'll copy the text bubbles by dragging while pressing the Alt key. We'll use Oswald for the font. Our board is ready. We have one last quick tip to add some texture to this drawing. We'll place a craft paper image on top and resize it to fit. Then, we'll click on the Opacity options, and choose Multiply from the Blend Modes. We will adjust the opacity until we find a good match. And that completes this drawing. We hope you find this tutorial helpful. All the links are in the description box below. Feel free to comment if you have any questions or feedback. Until next time.